Welcome to Taste and Savor's Weeknight Wine. I'm Nancy Waldeck. I'm thrilled you're joining us today. How did you celebrate the holiday? What holiday, you ask? Well, yesterday was National Rosé Day. So it's the perfect week to talk about a wine that's not quite pink, kind of pinkish copper that we don't usually think about in this color, and that is Pinot Grigio. Of course, Pinot Grigio is a wildly popular Italian wine. And while it's the same grape as Pinot Gris in France, it tastes very different. But Pinot Grigio hasn't always been made in that bright yellow color. It actually is a traditionally made like this. Welcome to Ramato wine. That's Ramato, that's copper in Italy, Italian. Let's do some exploring together. First of all, if you joined us for the weeknight wine episode, five fun things to know about rosé, you'll remember that the rosé category of wine is simply wine that has spent time on its skins, its grape skins, but not enough time to qualify as a red wine. It's an ancient way of making wine, and it's still used today to make beautifully colored rosé. The skins not only add color, but they can add texture and flavor to the wine. Ramato wines are a historical way of producing Pinot Grigio in the Friuli, Venezia, Giulia area of Italy, which is the small region right up here on the very top of Italy. This region has a wonderful history of making wine and traditions from the area called Middle Europe. It's a melting pot of cultures and people who have inhabited the area and made wine for decades, actually decades, actually centuries, right? Pinot Grigio was produced in this region and up until the 1960s was produced in this method, the Ramada method, the color of copper. But in about the 60s, the winemakers changed their method of production to one that created a yellow or straw colored wine that we're familiar with today in the United States. They started doing that when Pinot Grigio started getting popular in the United States. Who knew? But some winemakers in the Friuli area continued to make Ramado wines like Scarborough, just like this wine that we're tasting today. I'm holding it up so you can see that label. Actually, it's so beautiful, but it's actually on the bottle. It's not even a paper label. Okay, so how actually does a grape like Pinot Grigio produce both a white wine and a Ramado wine? Well, actually Pinot Grigio is not a white grape at all. It's actually a gray grape and it's a mutation of Pinot Noir. Thus the name Pinot Gris or Pinot Grigio. Gris is gray in French and uh, Grigio is gray in Italian. So it's a grayish pink grape and Romano wine is a result of those grayish pink skins hanging out with the juice while the wine is being made before fermentation starts. So as I said, we're enjoying a wine from Scarbolo today this color comes from, this beautiful color, comes from the grape skins hanging out for 24 hours. So it's quite intense in color. In addition to color, when the skins are allowed to hang out with the uh, wine itself or the, the grape juice, um, a lovely texture can occur. It can add unique flavors and aroma, structural complexity, and even a little tannin to the wine. Ramado is a very food friendly wine. Think of it served up in trattorias or casual wine bars along with local food like cheese or charcuterie, veggies. It's also super with seafood and you want to serve it up chilled about 50 degrees. Uh, just a little bit warmer than Pinot Grigio which you should serve up between around 45 to 49 degrees. So let's take a look at, we've already taken a look at the color but let's take a a, a, a sniff, an aroma of this wine. Oh my gosh, so it's interesting because you get a little bit more red fruit from this, or berries or strawberries, but I still get peaches on this and I also get some good citrus when I taste it. Oh, 
and let it run all over my mouth. It's got good acidity. I know it's gonna be a super food friendly wine. You can find this wine in many places in Atlanta. Um, I have found it recently in uh, Ansley Wine Merchant and Whole Foods for about $19. Um, you know, it's still traditionally made in the northeast part of Italy, but we're starting to find it with winemakers, Romano lovers in the United States, in California, Oregon, even Long Island. And Mary J. Bilge has a, scar has a uh, Romano that um, is in her Sun Goddess line of wines. So it's a perfect wine for you all that love Pinot Grigio and Rosé. It's a little bit off the beaten path and it is just delicious. I think you'll really enjoy it. Until the next weeknight wine, I'm Nancy Waldeck, a healthy chef, partyologist, and a chef who just loves wine. You can find me at tasteandsavor.com. Cheers.